We've got to ask. Any comment? How about the decision not to mention the Holocaust in the sentencing? Do you think it... Well, I was kind of expecting it, We frankly. didn't think that that was really pertinent um, because she didn't seek him out because he was a Holocaust survivor and there was no evidence. He just happened to be a Holocaust survivor. But didn't she find out at some point? Uh, I mean, I, yeah. I yeah. think that's what made it different than the cases you were citing. And I'm saying this, right. like, yeah. as I was listening, that, I was... I don't know about yeah. it, so I don't have a response to that. All right. Well, you did what you, you know, you yes. just did, you did your well, job, look, but... you know what, we were, we thought that it was very fair of the judge mm-hmm. not to upwardly depart to 96 months, yeah. which is what... The or even 63, did. which you couldn't appeal either, so right. that was a... Yeah. yeah, yeah, he imposed a sentence at the low end of the guidelines. Mm-hmm. Um, we think that that was very fair mm-hmm. of him to do that, you know, considering the circumstances. I was surprised. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Another time. Another time. Okay, here we are outside the sentencing of Peaches Sturgo. Peaches Sturgo, who she apparently didn't target, but did proceed to rip off a Holocaust survivor, 87 years old, of his life savings while living with her own partner and raising her own kids in a gated community in Florida and vacationing in both Greece and Las Vegas. Judge Ramos, while going at the lower end of the guidelines, 51 slammed her as a heartless person of whom very few good things could be said other than that she took care of her family, with stolen funds, apparently. She begins September 29th in Tallahassee, FCI, 51 months, Inner City Press, to be continued.